Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I thought I'd show you how to do uh, multiple editing in Camera Raw. This will let you edit multiple pictures at once and apply settings to all the pictures. It'll save you a lot of time uh, when you're editing a large amount of photos. So it's pretty easy. Um, you can do this with JPEGs too. I think the only difference is if you didn't shoot in Raw and you shot in JPEG, you select the ones you want. Open in, and you have to tell it to open in camera. Uh, otherwise, I think it'll just bring JPEGs into CS5. But here's an example of like this image. <clears throat> I set up, and I already have it edited kind of the way that I want. So I'll just leave it, and you hit done after you edit it, and then you can go back to bridge. Select the other ones. You can select multiple at once and just open them up. It will open all three into camera raw, and you can hit select all. Go over here to basic the top corner there's a preference and you can just click previous conversion and it'll apply the same settings as your last photo to all three photos so now you already have them all tweaked all set and it'll just save you a ton of time hit done it'll save them now you go back in bridge and they're all edited you can even do it right from in bridge right click where is that develop settings previous conversion you can apply the settings without even opening the image, which can save you a lot of time. You can also select multiple images, like let's say we wanted to do these three. Open and select all those. Just go up here, click select all, and then you can just start editing, and it will apply the same settings to all the images at once, which will save you a lot of time um, editing. Then you can go through, you know, kind of get them how you want. <coughs> I like that and then just use your arrow key and you can browse through the other ones these ones are maybe still a little too light so you can go through shift click just those two and just edit those two and tweak it exactly how you want let's say you get one right and then you want to apply it to just this one you can just select those two and whichever one you select first like you select this one to that it'll always take off the first one that you clicked on so you click synchronize and you can tell it what you want to copy so it'll copy everything over all these adjustments over to the other image so that way if you have like 12 different images open and you want this one to be exactly like this one down here you can you can do it like that with the synchronize or let's say we wanted to make this sky darker you could we will use the gradient and pull that down and see it'll make the, the sky a little bit darker like that just for the effect here so you click shift select all synchronize but if you wanted to copy over this this special gradient that we did you have to do local adjustments and then that way it'll carry that over to the other images as you can see it carried it over to these but we have to adjust them down a little bit but I think you get the gist of it it's an easy way to edit a lot of pictures at once and it'll save you just a lot of time so you got those edited we can now we can go back and let's say select all these right click develop settings previous conversion and it'll just carry everything over save you so much time editing instead of doing each individual JPEG or something like that so it'll really save you a lot of time in the end and there's one of the great benefits to raw you can do it with JPEGs too I just think you have to uh, right click open in camera raw I think that's how you get it to work with the JPEGs but it's just an easy way to edit multiple photos at once and apply same settings over a vast amount of pictures. It will save you a lot of time um, in your workflow. And that's pretty much how I edit all, all of my photos. Select a group that's pretty much the same exposure, composition. And I know that I'm going to want them all pretty much the same. You know, go through, tweak it a little bit, you know, how you want. Get everything perfect. And then just quick browse through the line to make sure that all the images are turning out how you want. Because sometimes you get like a slightly different exposure on one, so that's why you go through real quick browse, make sure that they're all good. And if they're all done, just click done. And then that is it. That is how you batch process uh, raw images in Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, a couple other th quick things I forgot to mention. Uh, when you're in Bridge, you can click on any picture, hit spacebar, and it'll bring up a full screen preview of the images. So that'll kind of help you figure out which ones you want to go in and edit. 
So you find when you want to edit, spacebar again, it'll bring you out. Just hit enter, and it'll open that image automatically in the camera raw. Save you a little bit of time on editing. Another little thing is um, you open up multiple images. You browse through them, and obviously, you know, not every image is a keeper. So you find the one you want to delete. You just hit delete, and it will remove it from the list. So you can go through and delete uh, multiple images from here and it will automatically remove them from bridge and from your computer so it'll just save you time um, remove you can just remove a bunch of photos that you don't want just another way to uh, speed up your editing process and save you time and let you edit faster